So I'm here at the beach, just walking the shore. It's really relaxing to just come here and enjoy everything. And it's nice to just think about life. And just this is very therapeutic. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Hey guys, so here I am arriving at the beach and I can't believe of all the time that I've lived here I've never filmed these types of videos where I show you guys the local wildlife here like like right now I'm just mind blown <laughs> but that is going to be changing from now on so I didn't know this was actually happening today, but these are shrimp boats heading out on their three to six month journey. Today was actually the first day of the open season, meaning they now have permission to head out to sea and catch shrimp since spawning season is over and any shrimp blitz are now of good size. All the crew members' families were actually lined up there on the edge where I was standing saying goodbye because they know that it's a risky job and unfortunately many don't make it back home. So good luck to all of those that sailed out and may they return back home safely. So after eating, I took a walk on the shore and look at this humongous driftwood that I found. Like, oh my god. <laughs> I swear the only thing in my mind at the time was, is there a way that I can take this with me and build a huge aquarium for this to go into? <laughs> So this, this ladies and gentlemen, was officially the sexiest thing that I have seen all day today. If you're Latino, then you understand.
So believe it or not, this is actually home to a bunch of raccoons. But don't worry, they're friendly. Actually, a lot of tourists come here and feed them and take pictures with them. I'm not sure exactly when and how these guys were introduced here, but they've been here for lots and lots of years. Unfortunately, they are completely dependent on humans. They eat whenever people feed them and even then that's not always enough. I do know of a small group of individuals who come here and feed them at night, I believe every day. They actually depend on donations to do so. But then again, that's a lot of raccoons and only a few of them are actually being shown here in this video. There's actually more of them. So during this video, I actually noticed they were starving and were being very food aggressive with each other. Yeah. They never once showed any aggression towards me or anything, but you know, I was scared there for a moment because you know, the whole rabies thing and the teeth and the claws. <laughs> but like I said, they are around humans all the time and they know how to behave themselves. So after seeing that, I've decided to also help out and from now on, I will be coming here regularly to feed them and give them clean, fresh water. So you guys will be seeing a lot more of these guys from now on. So yeah, this concludes this video. After this, I just came home. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Have a good day or a good night and love you guys. Bye!